Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a chip. Reasonably good lie off the top of a hill. Down the green. So the green is running away from me from left to right. So I'm thinking if I can just land this ball maybe two, three feet on, the green will do the rest for me. So it's all about thinking about this, visualizing the shot. You know, a lot of people here will open up clubs, try to flop this up into the air. I don't, I don't agree with it. So everyone is to their own personal thing, but I think there's enough height in this hill for the ball just to take off. You don't want this ball getting too high and checking up too soon because you won't get a release of it. So you always try to get the hands forward, just pop it out, maybe two feet onto the green and about a foot of break on it. So I'll try to demonstrate for you now. So a lot of people come into this chip when the club opened up. I don't agree. I think a nice closed club. Get your line right. So there's my line. So get the club a small bit upright on your back foot. Forward hands. Low on the shaft, bottom of the grip. So I have my line. So I want every groove in this club face used on this ball. So I get the XX spin. And just let it release. So here it goes. I'll give it a try. There's about two, three feet on. Got it down to about two feet, two and a half feet. So I should be making that puff for three. But that's the kind of chip I'd advise anyone around the greens or anyone that's struggling with their chipping to try get that low chip going, get that runner going. Because a lot of high chips won't work out for you guys. It's grand on a golf course. You have a big massive green, lots of spots to end it. Pitch and pot, different story. Thanks for watching guys, hope this helps.